Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make low carb lemon meringue pie. Now, I bought all these lemons, that's why I did a lemon dessert last week. I bought all these lemons from Costco and they're starting to get a little um, soggy on me so I need to do something with them and I thought let's share this recipe with you. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do, I haven't got the burner on yet, but I'm going to add in a cup of fresh squeezed lemons and I used the pulp too, I took the seeds out. So the next thing we're going to do is I have a cup of erythritol. Now I didn't um, powder this, normally I do, but I haven't, so I've just that's why we have to cook this so we can get the sugar to dissolve. So erythritol, I have one cup. And I see a seed in there, so I'm going to have to get it out. Get myself a little... There we go. Okay, I thought I had them all, but I missed one. So the next thing we're going to do, I have the zest of two um, lemons and it worked out to be around four teaspoons so we'll stir that in and then we're going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt And I'm going to add in three eggs, three egg yolks, sorry. So I just kind of beat them a little bit before I put them in. Stir that all up. Get it mixed really, really well. And the reason I'm doing this is on the stove, because I have to dissolve my sugar for one thing, and I have eggs in there. So if I put everything in there that's colder to start, then my eggs won't cook and get clumpy. So now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn on the burner. And I want this to dissolve. So that'll take a couple of minutes to do that. So while that is, is starting to heat up, I still have it low, I'm going to take a cup of cold water. And in that cup of cold water I'm going to add in Knox gelatin, one pouch. And somebody asked me, do I not use a whisker? Well, okay, I'll get it out. Because I used a spatula or something before on one of my videos and they thought, oh, please use a whisker. So Gail's going to use a whisker. And then I have a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. It's a little expensive, but it's also a thickener. So I'm just going to put in a quarter. And I'm just going to beat it up here to make sure I don't have any lumps. Now there's a trick to this filling. Um, I tried different things. I will make my crust after I get this going because what I find is all the other times I've tried to make this, I have to I have to put it in the fridge. I have to put the filling in the fridge. But this time, the way I've made it, I'm hoping that it will work like it did last time in my cooked crust. So after I get this done, I'm going to make the crust. So I just went off camera for a couple of seconds or a few seconds to really give it a good beating because I want to make sure that I don't have any lumps in there. Now we're going to add it to my lemon filling. 
It's got a great flavor. You're really going to like this. I experimented the first time and it didn't seem to, with the uh, Knox, the Knox gelatin, it didn't seem to get solid enough. So then I put two packages in. It wasn't, it was too hard and gummy. So I think I've got it all figured out now and I want to make sure you have a great lemon pie. So I've got the burner on medium and I'm just going to stir this for a bit and then we will get ready to just let it sit and I will start making the crust. So now I'm just going to add in a tablespoon of butter, let it melt and then I'm going to take it off of the burner. It's still quite runny, but that's okay. It will set. So while my crust cools down, I'm going to just put the pot in the fridge. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in one and a half cups of almond flour. And I get mine in um, Costco, Kirkland brand. It's quite reasonable and it's lovely. It's very fine. I quite like it. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of powdered erythritol or xylitol. I use both. Um, my body is used to the xylitol, so I use it quite often. It's not as expensive as the erythritol. Now we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt. So I'll just mix this up a little bit. Let's add in one large egg. I was disappointed. They say they're large eggs, but boy, oh boy, they're not large eggs. It's crazy. Now we're going to put in a quarter cup of melted butter. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're just going to mix this all together. You can use a glove if you'd like. I'm just going to use my spatula today. And once I've got this all mixed, I'm going to press it into my ovenware pie, glass pie plate. Give it a really good mix. Okay. So I have a 9 inch pie plate, um, it's not a deep dish, and I find using my parchment paper really helps to move it around because it is a little bit sticky. And the reason I'm using this um, pie plate compared to a deep dish is because I made it last time and found that there was, it just didn't fill the bowl up or the pie plate up as much and I wanted it to be full. So I'm using a, a lower dish, not as deep. So you just work at it. There's different ways you can do it. You can do it all by hand, but I'm, I'm finding it's, it's a little stickier than usual, but it's a great crust. You'll really, really like it. And I used it with the, um, my ricotta pie. So I'm just going to work on this and then I will get ready to put it in the oven. So I think I've got it pretty good, pretty level on my um, thickness. And then I just take and, and kind of pinch the sides. It's not anything fancy, but we'll have a nice pie crust. A little finicky, but you know, I just find summertime, picnics, 
always, always have lemon meringue pie. And why not have a low carb lemon meringue pie? Agree? Agree. I'll speak on your behalf. There we go. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for approximately 10 minutes. And then halfway through, or when I see it bubble up like you know the regular crust does, I open up the door and I press. I, I put a knife in it or a fork in it and it'll flatten out because it does kind of rise up a little bit in the center. So we'll get that baked and then we'll get our filling, filling done. Okay, my crust has cooled down and I have taken my uh, filling out of the fridge. Now you're going to see there's kind of little clumps on there. That's from the xanthan gum and probably the pulp. But I'm going to pour this in. And I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it set. And then after that, we'll make the meringue. Okay, I got the pie out of the fridge and I actually left mine overnight because I had so many things going on. And you can see it has set very nicely. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our meringue. So I have my three egg yolks in there, you can see. And I have a little new Hamilton Beach mixer. And the reason I got it was because I had my hand mixer. And for one special occasion, the kid says, please make me Billy Miner pie, which is not low carb. It's like an ice cream cake that we get at the keg when we go to the restaurant. So I had ice cream and I had thought it to a certain extent and I was using my hand mixer and I burnt it out. So this was what I got in its place. And it was on sale and it, like I only paid $89 for it, which was a good deal because they're normally like 160 And because it was the floor model, I even got it cheaper. So that's what's how I ended up with this great little Hamilton Beach um, mixer. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to be adding in a quarter cup of erythritol powdered. It's a little bit of a noisy machine but I'm just going to keep it on low for a minute so that I can let you see that I am putting in the erythritol. And I see I hit the top of the, the beaters, that's not good. So I'll stop it, I'll clean that off, and then I'll turn it back on. And I'm just going to mix it until we have nice, stiff egg whites. So I'm just going to clean that off, and then I'll make it go quick, and we'll make it, and then I'll show you the results. Okay, it took me probably about three minutes to whip this up. And I want you to realize also that I didn't, um, when I made my pie yesterday, I put the egg whites in the fridge covered and they still whipped up really, really nice. So you can see it's got a nice dip on there. So we're going to get our pie and we're going to add the meringue to it. So we've got our pie, we're going to get our meringue out. bowl completely emptied. I hate waste. Now, when I do my meringue, actually my husband was here for the first pie that I did, and he says, you have to bake that in the oven for such a long time, and I'm going, if I do that, then my lemon is going to go all mucky and melt on me because of this gelatin we're using. And when I do um, my meringue, in the oven, I put it on broil and I watch it like a hawk. It's just kind of an in and out. When it's nice golden brown, I take it out. So I'm just going to spread this around and I try and cover all of the lemon because I don't want the heat hitting on the um, the lemon itself. So I'm going to demonstrate. I'll let you watch while I do it and it, it takes a couple
couple of minutes or whatever. But we're going to put it in the oven, close the lid, and I just keep checking. Okay, so we're going to put it in the oven here. You can see it's, the burner is quite bright up top. I'm just going to close it, and I'm going to keep checking it. pads ready because I got to get them out quick. Okay, I'm just checking here. It's starting to get a little golden, so we just keep checking it. Ooh, this pie is so good. You guys are going to just love it. I think I have the right tanginess of the lemon. Um, if you want, you don't have to put the pulp in. I put the pulp in. There we go. See ya. That's it. Okay. Look how beautiful that is. Just a beautiful meringue pie. And I don't think you're going to know the difference between um, a regular lemon pie or my low carb lemon pie. So I'm going to just put it back in the fridge and just let it cool off set and um, then we were going to give it a try. I'm so excited for you guys to try my low carb lemon meringue pie. Look how beautiful it is. Now when I took the piece out a little bit of the crust stuck on the bottom but no biggie. I find that happens with regular pies. So we've taken out a piece. Here we go. Look. Looks delish. Mm. It's delicious. It has a bit of, it's tangy a little bit, but it's still sweet. It's got that great lemon flavor. It's absolutely delicious. You would never know that was low carb. You really wouldn't. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Now, I'm just going to show you the other pie that I made earlier. And yes, it's been eaten. Now, I put too much gelatin in it, so it's quite rubbery. I didn't put enough um, lemon in it. I think the one that I just did is amazing. So this is good. The other one is delicious. So, summer picnics, that's always what I used to take, is lemon pies, and now I can take my low carb and I can have some while I'm there. So if you want to try this recipe, try some of my others, you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this one, and try my others. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.